the interview with Professor Manolin. Interplanetary travel. Interplanetary travel? Huh. Another egg, kid. Well, all a day's work. That's the way it goes. Do I have the honor of addressing Professor... Uh... Oop. I guess not. Someone looking for Professor Madeline? Specialist in space travel? Space travel? I was sent to... How's that? I was sent to... Spaceship. Huh? Out of this world, isn't it? Shh. Look here. The secret, you see, is in the engine. It splits atoms. Come again. It splits atoms. Very simple. Look, you spin the engine, and ooh, it works. What an interview. Well, so long, Prof. Read my column in tomorrow's paper. Let's see, let's see. In space, there is no effect of gravity. Space, boy! Professor! Oh, what a story. Oh, man, what a scoop. What are you doing away out there? I'm orbiting around your spaceship. Oh, man, what a scoop. What a story. Don't worry, I'll save you! What a scoop! Hey, my typewriter! Get it back, you idiot! Steady, man, steady there! Let me send you some lunch! Here it goes! Catch! Pull over! A couple of wise guys, huh? I book you on the World of One for crossing that space. I book you on the 202 for sparring a space officer. I book you dead on arrival for crossing one of the frontiers of our satellites. Space Patrol calling Red Planet, over. Headquarters, Red Planet, I read you. Commander and Chief, I have a couple of nosy characters and I want to know if I should bring them in. Oh, what? Follow your instructions. Disintegrate them. Not so fast, not so fast. Gee whiz, you can't disintegrate me, I'm the press. The press? A reporter? Wait, reintegrate him before you lose your stripes. Score those gentlemen to my office. They will be our guests of honor. Reintegrate him. Imagine the foreign press. With this, they'll see everything very clearly. The year of your arriving now. Chief, take out the way. So sorry. Gentlemen. It is a great privilege to welcome such an enlightened member of the Fourth State and a renowned man of science. You shall see with your own eyes that ours is a civilization in which peace and prosperity are the one's worth. Of course, we are justly proud that over here there is no unemployment. Just imagine, 16 hours of work, seven days a week for every man, woman, and children, and nobody goes on track. And among our people, a long life is not an exception, but a rule. Well, maybe they do not live so longer, but you can be sure it seemed a lot longer to them. Only here, there has been a tip true equality among men. Yes, comrade. We have one equality for the masses. 
And we have a very special equality for the masters. There. Step over here. Our growing and peaceful economy is dedicated to the well-being of the people who take part in the healthy sports program sponsored by the party, in which men and women participate on equal footing. Under the benevolent watchfulness of our beloved leader, whose dearest wish is to bring lasting peace to the world. Hey, Prof! Let's beat it! Hurry, here they come! Ancient, after them! Try putting these on and live it up a little. 